Maybe people made enough noise. Maybe Alan Parr made enough noise. Maybe I made enough noise. Whoever that the folks around you go, ah, man, this is this is bad luck, bro. Bruce Lawn. Did Mike Todd clap back at Alan Parr? Now, it's possible he's talking to me. The reason that I do things in excellence, the reason that I give in gen generously, the reason this church is generous, the reason why we try to do the thing, all we're trying to do is get you to see the kingdom. That's it. You may not like it, but you feel something. Something on the inside of you is like, oh, I don't like that. He's black with braids, and that jacket probably is expensive. He definitely gave people a thumbnail, though. Yeah, that's, that's a thumbnail. Sure. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> it's kingdom drip. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. When you, when you start talking about the kingdom, you just kind of get ignorant. Because you understand your authority. Everybody say, see the kingdom. See the kingdom. So, so that's oh, what sorry. I, want I, thought, I thought I was there. I, want you to... I thought I was there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> I'm at, I'm at Russo's you're, studio. You're, you're, oh. you're terrible. He's such a good communicator. You're awful. Stop He's it. A, he is a good communicator. Yeah, no, Don't he, do that. He got me. He sucked me Don't in. Don't do that. Seek the kingdom. Put a magnifying glass on it. I want us to look at scripture so close. And I want us to be like, dang, that was there the whole time. I told the team, there's some messages. I'm going to have to go back and, and watch and see if I need to take them down. Oh, 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 oh pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Uh-oh. Uh oh, he said he said he was reading scripture and saw something and said that was there the whole time. Uh oh, so that's that's a W. Okay, that's a W. Maybe somebody did get through to him. This might end up being a middle ground episode. This maybe somebody got through to him. Who knows? Go ahead. You too prideful for that. I said I was king dumb. So 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 I was telling people stuff. I did the best. That you know that Mariah Carey thing. I'm gonna do the best with what I got. Oh, that's what I was doing with, with, with the understanding I had. That's why when people make YouTube videos and do all that other stuff, I'm doing the best with what I got. Pause it's it. Is this him acknowledging that he's fumbled? I think so. And acknowledging that he needs to go back and take some sermons down? Yeah, but like... Or how about just some bad medical information? Cake, mm. and, cake and steak aren't the same cake thing. Can we just steak. take that down? That's literally some this really man, bad medical information. This man sponsored the new governmental food pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> food neutrality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it, sounds like that's, it sounds like that's what he's saying. It sounds like that's what he's saying, which is if that's what he's saying, then that's a big W. Yep. That's a big W for Mike Todd. That's a big W for Mike Todd. If he has the humility and the self-awareness to go, listen, I was just going and I wasn't equipped and I didn't have the proper information and I was mm. just saying stuff. And maybe there's some new voices and accountability in his life and some things are gonna change. Wow. Praise God. Yeah. That's that's a big W. Right now, which ones is he gonna is he gonna take down some of the sloppy stuff around the Trinity? Is he gonna take down some of the choppy stuff about calling the Holy Spirit an upgrade? Like what are we taking down? <laughs> you know? I'm just i I'm 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 generally just being curious. Yeah. But I think the fact that he would be willing to to take some stuff down, I think, is, is great. And I've taken videos down before. Mm -hmm. I've taken videos down before. I've taken stuff down. I've made videos and apologized before. Yeah. I don't think it's that serious. If you misspeak, just own it. You misspeak and move on. Yeah. When you don't misspeak and you act like you, when you act like you're above reproach, but you don't live like you're above reproach, mm. that's dangerous. That's dangerous. And so, I think, I think this is, uh, I think this is this is good. I think this is good. The, the 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 macro idea would be then, well, how did we get to this place in a in a, in an evangelical industrial complex where someone could have one of the biggest churches in the world and then be like, yeah, I might have misspoke. I might have said some stuff wrong. I was doing the best with what I got. Who was how how did this happen? Mm. Who who gave you the the platform and the building and the resources? to become one of the leading voices in Christianity while not being sound in doctrine and above reproach. You know, like, how, how do we get there? I think that's, that's the dangerous part. If he's owning it, then I would get, well, then who's responsible? Are we responsible? Yeah. Is our, because we, like the children of Israel, want a king the way they wanted a king, and then they got Saul. And, and, I don't, and a lot of that is like, I just felt bad for Saul, you know? <laughs> so they wanted a king. They got Saul, but God wanted to be their king directly. We wanted a celebrity pastor. We wanted somebody good looking, charismatic, funny. And so we kind of just got like, is it, the, is it the people? Is it the evangelical industrial complex? That, that's considering that he's saying what I hope he's saying. He may not be saying that. 
Let's, yeah. let's see what he says next. Wrong, if I've done something in error, if I've messed something up, the Holy Spirit and my accountability can correct me. You making a YouTube video doesn't help me. Mm. Pause it. Or does it? Or does it? Or does it? Mm. Or does it? Or does enough people making enough fuss and enough videos that maybe your accountability started paying attention Oof. and me sitting down with people that go to your church and asking them if I've been too harsh and them saying, no, I don't think you've been too harsh. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it did help. Mm. Maybe it did help. Maybe people made enough noise. Maybe Alan Parr made enough noise. Maybe I made enough noise. Whoever that the folks around you go, ah, man, this is this is bad luck, bro. We got to shut down comment section on Instagram, and we got to, you know mm. what I mean? Like this is just not. This is this is a this is bad luck. You want to see something crazy? Sixty-seven percent of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. Maybe it did help. Maybe God, but what if God uses all those people? He's pulling the, you're not my pastor. You're just an online commenter. Sure. I'm not your pastor. Yeah. Go ahead. You don't pray for me? Pause it. How do you know that? Cap. How do you, how, how do you know that? We start getting into Ruslan's favorite word over here. Stop. We're going to get there. Okay. Because that, that's coming. <laughs> How do you know I'm not praying for you, Michael? Michael, how do you know I'm not praying for you, bro? I don't even know if he's talking to me. He may have not ever seen a single video of mine. But how do you know That's I'm not true. praying for you? How do you know Alan Parr is not praying for you? And I'll tell you this. Brother, I am praying for you. Despite what you think. I am praying for you. I am praying that you get some good accountability around you. And I'm seeing some of those prayers answered if I'm hearing back the reports correctly. How do you know we're not praying for you? How do you know that Cass is just trying to take you down when we're seeing what's happening and, and, and getting the sense that, ah, I think, he, I think he means well. I think he's a good guy. I think this, uh, this all just happened too fast and he's trying to process it in real time. But you're not responding to, to, to DMs. You're not trying to have conversations. Mm. Alan didn't reach out to you. I reached out to you multiple times. I reached out to your brother. If you're not me, responding, your brother's all we got. Your brother's, your, yeah, right? Your brother is following me on Instagram. Like, what are you talking about? We're not praying for you. Come on, bro. Go ahead. Alan Parr, the type of dude to pray before a podcast, too. Yes. So he's probably praying Alan's for Alan's definitely you. praying before especially, a pod. Especially before a scathing video like that. Alan's definitely praying before a pod. And so if we can't reach out to you through DM, then nobody praying what for can, me. we can we? Yes, you know, he's on some Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Nobody praying for me. <laughs> what can we do but, but, but pray for you and just share our peace without attacking you personally? So if you're constantly criticizing someone, you're not praying for them. Well, first of all, I think you, you have to get very specific. Alan Parr is not constantly criticizing Mike Todd. Yeah. Like, stop the cap. Stop I counted. I counted. I have over 1,500 uploads. Seven of them are <laughs> critical of Mike Todd. No one's constantly criticizing him. Yeah. Two of the, three of them were, were, were neutral and or positive. So there's one video talking about he's more generous than Oprah. My very mm. first video about Mike Todd was saying he's more generous than Oprah. Look how cool this is. Yeah. Well, not to mention. And then I made a video and said, I may have been wrong about Mike Todd. So if someone's critical of you, if your accountability partner, hypothetically, I know this is not accountability, but if your accountability partner is critical of you and you being sloppy in certain areas, that means they're not praying for you? Yeah, that, that those one does not equal, one plus one does not equal that's, two That's there. really faulty logic on your part. Respectfully, very faulty logic. Very, uh, didn't Alan pray for Mike Todd at the end of the video? I, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great callback. That's that's killer callback. All right. You don't pray for me? You don't ask God, let there be illumination or light? Yes, Ain't we nobody do. praying for me. And you're doing it in the name of Jesus. I don't know where this is coming uh -huh. from. Uh-huh, keep going. But you are working against the kingdom. <sighs> pause it, pause it, pause it. That's a bad take. I was with him until he said, we're not praying for you. And then he said, you're working against the kingdom, Michael Todd. Michael Todd, that's a bad take, bro. That's a bad take. I would never say you're working against the kingdom. When that's you're, a when, fact. When you're, when, you're, when, you're, when you're fumbling basic Christian theology, I would never say that about Wait, you. Wait, hold bro. up. That's a great point. I didn't even think about it like that. That's a bad take. That's, that's a, a bad take. To be like from the stage saying something something significantly harsher than any YouTube video has said. Not any YouTube video. Any but, video but, that any, any of me or my friends have made. Yeah, you or your friends have made. Obviously, there's videos that are saying he's a straight-up heretic, which... Yes. Are, and those are, like, in the <laughs> deep, dark webs. That's a bad take. But to be, like... To be out and here saying... And to be saying, fair, I'm not, I don't even know if he's talking about me and Alan. So let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. 
maybe he is talking about that that fragment of the internet that just um you know so you think he's talking about the minority maybe you think he's talking about the, the person with 7000 views on maybe, the video. maybe it's very likely okay. it, it could be possible i mean hey that is a very charitable position she it's very <laughs> uh it's very possible even with the discernment ministry community like the actual people that do discernment ministries yep i don't think they're trying to bring harm I think they're being good Bereans. Mm. I don't think Michael Todd is trying to be a wolf in sheep's clothing and be a false teacher. I think he's doing the best with what he has up until this point. Yep. But this is that 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 I saw it on the little screen when someone sent it to me earlier. But it, it hits different when it's, it's on a big screen. It when he different. got all the faces and go the ahead, theatrics go ahead, of it yeah, too. Go ahead. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. When God shows me something, I'm humble enough. That's why Jesus tells us to cast our crown. Take off all your titles. Take off all your success, all the zeros you made, all the awards and accolades. Take it off. When you come to the king of kings, he's not talking about some foreign land of kings. He said, I am the king of kings. Oh my gosh. He's not saying all Christians are kings. I'm going to say it one more time. <laughs> That's not what that's saying. I either. am the king of kings. All right, pull back the part where he talks about the the the, uh, the yeah what, yeah I'm, yes pull that back. That's why when people make YouTube videos and do all that other stuff, I'm doing the best with what I got. If I'm wrong, if I've done something in error, if I've messed something up, the Holy Spirit and my accountability can correct me. You making a YouTube video doesn't help me. You don't pray for me. You don't ask God let there be illumination or light. You want a follower, and you're doing it in the name of Jesus. I don't know where this is coming from, but you are working against the kingdom. Pause it. So here what we see is him actually exhibiting the same thing he's accusing other people of exhibiting, which is an appeal to motive fallacy. Oh, there it is. An appeal to motive fallacy. His favorite word. In debate is when you presume to know people's motives. And there are people that presume to know his motives. There are people that would say that he is this, he is that, he's just doing it for click, for clout. So it's almost like a bit of projection here because the same stuff people say about him, he's not saying about the people that are criticizing him. And worse, about the worst of the worst people mm. criticizing him and, and acting as if he knows what they're doing in their prayer time and he knows their motives. You're doing it for followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's literally doing the very same thing that the harshest critics of him do to him, and he's projecting that back on them. Yeah, which is sad. Which is sad for a, a he's human, but it's sad for a pastor to to to, to do that um, on a public stream with how many views this drink got? One hundred fifty thousand views in three in three days, mm -hmm. right? Um, it just comes off weird. The whole thing just comes off weird to me. Yeah, the whole thing just comes off weird to me. Um, when you really break down a statement, you just listen to what he says uh, word for word. It's like, wow, that's really. That's really quick. Because I was with him at first. I was like, oh, this is good. Like, wow, this Praise is God. So this is good. And so, you know, um, hey, man, listen, I'm praying. F I, M Michael Todd, I am praying for you, brother. I pray for you before I ever say anything or anything like that. Please believe it. And um, I hope that someday we can have these conversations in person in front of everybody to see uh, because... I've tried with you, and I've tried with a lot of these guys. I don't think you guys really want to have those conversations. And not everybody who has something to say because they're concerned, legitimately concerned, is doing it because they want to harm you, because they want to hurt you, or because they are doing it for clout and clicks. My channel was doing just fine before I ever mentioned Mike Todd critically. <laughs> that's the, that, And that's just a fact. You can go back. The AdSense checks were the same. The, the, the views were the same. I was doing just fine. If anything, so, Joe Rogan's our hero. Yeah, if anything, Joe Rogan, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if anything, that is the stuff that uh, what, what gets to pop. So I just, I think it's, I think it's interesting. And I think um, I would be shocked if they didn't see Alan's video. If someone didn't see Alan's video and didn't connect those pieces, I would be very, very, very shocked. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month, where you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams, as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store, only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media, 
podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. Now, if you're like, meh, I don't wanna sign up for $5 a month. I don't need another recurring subscription. Listen, I get it. You could also make a donation uh, using PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo, but but we really wanna get you on Patreon. I promise you, the perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.